FL Studio Today we're going to look at side chaining in the FL Studio Mixer. Side chains are simply extra audio inputs to a plugin. They're not usually audible, but control some parameter of the effect. The most common use of side chains is to pump or duck the volume of a mixer track in response to audio in another. And that's what we're going to do today with the Fruity Limiter. Duck a pad sound, a sustain chord, with a kick. Side chaining in the mixer is associated with the audio send switches and volume controls. When you make any send link between tracks, you're also making a side chain send. The difference between a side chain send and an audio send is simply the position of the send volume knob. If it's at zero, then it's a side chain only. If it's not zero, then it's both an audio and a side chain send. The right click options on the send switches are really just macros that set the volume knob for you. Let's sidechain the kick in this project to Fruity Limiter's compressor section. Yes, Fruity Limiter is also a compressor. And a gate, bonus. So, add Fruity Limiter to the track that needs ducking. Then select the sidechain track, the kick in this case, and right click the send selector on the limiters track and select sidechain to this track. Use the sidechain only to this track if you don't want the sidechain audio to be heard. This deselects the source track's master send. I'm also going to sidechain the hat sound to the limiter, so we have several choices in the next step. And also to demonstrate that it's possible to route as many sidechain sources as you want to any track. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, not much is happening, and nothing will happen until you select the sidechain source in the sidechain selector and set a compression threshold. Notice as soon as I touch this, the blue trace now appears. That's the kick's volume envelope. And finally, set a compression ratio. Now we're pumping. So that's it. The steps are 1. Side chain a mixer track to a plugin that accepts side chains. 2. Select the side chain in the plugin. And 3. Make adjustments as required to make use of the side chain. In this case, the threshold and compression ratio settings. I think I might continue working on this track. I'm starting to like it. Anyway, see you next time.